Welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing apple picking. So we're going to one farm, it's called Dixie's. Um, they have some corn, they might have apples. So we're gonna check out what they have. Um, but it, the sign says apple, pumpkins, so corn. But yeah, come along. We're gonna try to pick some apples for the first time. See you soon. See you inside. So here's some of the basic rules. Um, so you can't bring bags. Obviously no drones. No picking sunflowers and no pets. So. Here's the farm. Hey, so one of the things they have here is a uh, tractor ride. And so the tractor is going to take us to the back where they have the play area, which has the corn maze and a few activities. And then there's a second stop that has the apple, where you can actually do the apple orchard. But we're going to do the activities first before we pick the apple, so that way we don't have to like carry them around in the maze. But yeah, so we're going to see if we can get some corn, corn maze, and so here's the tractor ride. Oh yeah. I don't think you can touch them. <coughs> I think you can. We're on a tractor ride. <laughs> There's the porta potties. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna enter the corn maze. So hopefully we don't get lost. Remember, hug the right wall. So, we're in the corn maze. It's pretty tall. <laughs> like, I'm six feet and I can't see over it. Anyone dropping any seeds so we know the way out? <laughs> Is this the way out? I don't know if that's the way in. <laughs> no, we came in another way. Oh, you came in another way? Oh, you... the other side. Okay. So there is a way. <laughs> At least it's not night. Okay, so we got out of the corn maze. It was, it was a pretty easy maze to get out of. Um, it was really easy. We didn't really get lost. But you can see here they have some activities. So they got some cornhole. They have a little picture frame that you can take pictures with. They have different photo ops. It's a pretty nice farm. The day's pretty nice. It's not cold. It's around. I think it, the weather said 68, but it feels more like maybe 75, maybe 72. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice day to come out here and just, you know, play some cornhole and pick some apples. Hey guys, so we made it to the apple orchard. So they got some um, Empires, Red Delicious. I think we're looking for uh, Golden Delicious. And then we'll see what else we got. But we took a tractor, so the tractor has two stops. One stopped at the activity area where I had the corn maze and the cornhole stuff. And then the second stop is the actual orchard. And they have um, some customer service reps that are telling you where to go, how to pick them. But yeah, so we're gonna go pick some apples first time. But it's so weird, it's so, the weather is so hot here today. Like, you would think it'd be a little cooler, but it's not. But yeah, we're gonna pick some apples. They're good. Fresh off the tree. Alright. Go on. I'll try a little bit. I'm gonna keep it. Oh yeah. First apple. Good, good, right? It's sweet. And we were told to pick the ones that have the sun kiss on them. They're sun kiss. This is really good. Fresh apple. All right, so at the um, Dixie Farm, what you get is a bracelet. I don't remember how much it was. I'll, I'll, I'll have to get, if I figure out the price, I'll put it. 
but the bracelet includes you can eat one apple off the tree so you can pick one and eat one here but only one per person which isn't too bad i mean that makes sense but the apples are good we're um, getting golden delicious right now and they're they're tasty so. all right guys so they have some varieties of syrups here they're both from the same farm but they're in different packaging one's glass and one's plastic and then just some little souvenirs hazelnuts hazelnuts it's like apple cider oh so yeah nice little farmer's market yeah kind of it's actually nighttime now we are going to be doing a city tour city cruise tour it's part of the city pass um so you pay like i think it was like 150 or something per person and you get five attractions including the cn tower and so one of them is the scenic tour and so we're gonna take it um at 6 30 so it's an hour 7 30. we're hoping to see kind of a sunset by and the like end of nice it city views at night yep yep so we're gonna let you know how it is see how if it's worth it um so come along and uh, like i said we'll show some clips as we go along and let you know how it is all right guys so we're heading off our cruise was for 6.30, it is 6.37, so we're running a little bit late, but not too late. Um, but yeah, as you can see behind me, we got the skyline of Toronto, and we're heading off. Canadian flag there, we got the CN Tower and Rogers Stadium. Like I said, can't get more Canadian than that. So yeah, we're gonna go get covered. We just got off the boat, the city cruise uh, cr around across the Toronto skyline thing. Uh, it was okay. It was pretty good. I liked it. You got good views of the Toronto skyline. Um, it's a bit chilly. Uh, it's uh, around like probably like 50s, but like 50, you know, 60s. on the water, it's always yeah, cooler. it's windy and you're on the top deck, so it's a little chilly. But yeah. I mean, it was nice. It's um, pretty, especially like we got we got the 6:30 one, so it's yeah. like sunset. Yep. You see the sun setting and it's starting to get dark. I was hoping for it to get really dark, but it's it's getting there. It's just not completely dark Yeah, yet. It's, you're not going to get a night, like city night view. You're going to get like sunset view, like sun's almost setting. Yeah. So it's dark, but like it's not like pitch totally black. Dark. I feel like you would have to take the regular water taxi yeah. to get to go later because this boat stops going at 630. That's the yep. last cruise. So. But it but yeah, was pretty. It was pretty. It was nice. I think it, we left at 6.37, 6.34, 7.37, so roughly an hour. Yeah. Um, it literally just went back, forward, back, and then docked. So we were you don't go we too got, far. We got a good, pretty good spot, too, yeah. so we could see. Eventually, we got the benches like out at the front of the boat, yeah. which was nice, so we could see everything. But I mean, like any other cruise, like you're kind of walking around for the most part, getting the views. Yeah. Um, you'll have multiple choice chances to get the CN Tower. Yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna try to find a car. We're gonna go back to, and um, try to go back to Brampton, um, meet some family over there. So. I will say one thing: the parking situation downtown. 
is a little confusing. Like there are parking spots near this area, Harper Front. Yeah. But when you're taking, like our GPS just didn't really direct us to it, so we ended up going further down. Yep. And then having to like use Google Maps. Yeah, to they find don't really way. have a lot of like the parking signs that like kind of direct you to, hey, here's parking. They're not really that obvious. No. But. So get here early enough. Like, yeah. Or, like an hour, more than an hour before, I would say. Yep. And there's a nice like little shopping area. Let me turn around, yeah. turn the camera around to like, if you were to come early, there's like stores, there's restaurants in there. So you can kind of hang out in there until your um, crew starts. So uh, if you do show up too early, you have something to do. That's not just sitting around waiting. But yeah, I think um, for me, the like it's worth it with the city pass. Yeah. I don't know if I'd pay more than $20 for it um so take that with a grain of salt but yeah so we're gonna close this off for now um sorry if these videos are a little sparse because we are visiting family so and i don't want to clearly don't want to vlog when you know when we're visiting them so we're spending quality time yep yep so i don't know if we're gonna close this vlog out now but um maybe we'll see see what else we do tonight but now we're gonna go find the car see ya see ya